Dad, why is carbon fiber used in everything from race cars to airplanes? Is it really that special? It's more than hype, Steve. Carbon fiber is insanely strong, stiff, and lightweight, all thanks to its atomic structure and manufacturing process. What's going on at the atomic level? It's made of long chains of carbon atoms bonded in hexagonal patterns. Think graphene sheets, but stacked and aligned. These covalent bonds give it high tensile strength and modulus of elasticity. So it resists stretching? Exactly. And because carbon atoms are lightweight, the strength to weight ratio is off the charts, much higher than steel or aluminum. But how is the actual fiber made? Most carbon fiber starts as polyacrylonitrile, which is heated to extremely high temperatures, around 1,000 to 3,000 degrees Celsius, in a process called carbonization. That burns off everything except carbon. Then what? The fibers are then woven into fabric or laid into sheets and embedded in a resin matrix, usually epoxy. That gives you a composite material. Strong fibers plus a stiff binder. So it's like rebar in concrete, but microscopic? That's a great analogy. The fibers take the load and the resin holds everything in shape. What about downsides? It's expensive, brittle under compression, and difficult to recycle. But when weight savings matter, like in aerospace, F1, or prosthetics, nothing beats it.